Hello and welcome to another Nico Media tutorial. Uh, yesterday I got the question uh, how to make something like uh, what so, this here, so colorful uh, meta balls here. And because uh, the question came from a patron, I uh, try to record something, of course, very, very soon. So, uh, yeah, yesterday the question, today the tutorial. And yeah, and he uh, sent me a YouTube video here too, something like this. And yeah, and I want to show you how to tell you how to make something like this. Good. Yeah, this uh, YouTube video you see it's from Greg Cope, and yeah, I will put the link in the description for it. And yeah, let's do this. And so. Yeah, we need, of course, some spheres, meta balls, and everything. Uh, I tried this this thing before, but not with an animation. But I want to show you how to do the animation too. And so, let's start and let's set up a little animation. So first, we need some spheres, and let's see, make five of them just for the uh, five spheres. And we want to bring them a little, uh, a little space between them. So I select all of them. Uh, first, uh, for, for my uh, thing, I will work with the proximal shader. And for the proximal shader, we need a converted objects. So we, because we need the points and the polygons. And as long we have not converted our objects, we don't have any points and polygons and everything. Uh, we could do it with... with uh, uh, with the correction deformer, but this is too slow then. So let's convert it, so C on the keyboard. And now with all spheres selected, I right click on it and take a vibrate deck. It does nothing at the moment, of course. And because everything is the same settings. And of course I have to enable the position Go here to, let's see, 500 by 500 by 500. And a different seat for each of, of them. So uh, otherwise it would, uh, the, the movement would be for every sphere the same. So that is nothing because when we do it now, you see that it's too fast, <laughs> 0.5. And so let's make a seat. I want for everything another, so I may type in num times and you can times whatever you want i take just one here and this means i have now everywhere another seat here i have zero one two three four and if i hit now play you see that's what we want and we could stay with this as animation i think i thought i will show you with uh, Oh, but let's make it a little more random. So, so I just search for a. No, it's okay. I search for a, a nice uh, spot where where they are. Uh, good uh, distributed, so like something like that. This is okay. Now I delete the vibration text and go back to frame zero, and I have now a nice distributed sphere thing here and i want to have this movement so what i do now is and i want to uh, intersections so so i give every sphere so i select everything right click and give it an a uh, simulation that created body deck so and I want no gravity in my scene, so I hit Control D for the project settings. And here in the animation and the dynamic settings, I want to go to gravity and go to zero. No gravity, please. Okay, that does nothing at the moment. So we need to play. Oh, it does a little bit because two of them they seems to intersect. Yes, since they. Uh, push away each other so this we can easily stop and I want to stop this with uh, the the collision I go to 
shape of so now it does nothing but I wanted it I wanted to move so uh, what I do I go to the simulation here particles and take in turbulence look now what we want to get you see uh -huh, they do something good but I want 50 here and this maybe scale it a little up so about let's see this okay but we won't see them uh, so let's make this whole thing a little longer go to a thousand frames here and they disappear so I want to have them in the middle here more than less so what I can try is give this a force here let's say one by one a rotation not so and let's see what you get now ah, that looks nice and I want these intersections here what we see here because this looks very nice then in the metapole when they melt together yeah this is a nice animation here and with this we can work good next thing I want all the spheres in a metapole object of course so I go to the metapole bring it down here and drag all the spheres in the metapole and we should get a big metapole yep <laughs> and again I hit, uh, select all the spheres right click and give them my metapole tag and in this tag I say please give me here triangles and you will see we get a nice shape then it needs a little to calculate of course but if it's calculated we get a very nice shape here you see that, that looks great and I want it even smoother, a little smoother. So what I do, I put the metapole in a null object, Alt G, and select the null object and take a smooth deformer. Hold my shift key. So with the shift key, the uh, deformer will be uh, will become a child of the null. You see? And here, no stiffness, no nothing. And we have a very nice smooth something here <laughs> okay of course even you make uh, the animation now with this it will be very slow so uh, before you render you should make a metapole here let's say to, to uh, in the editor let's say to 20 or something else and so we can try the you see the uh, animation works and the nice thing is you see this is uh, this this ball here is now alone and then it, it melts together again let's let's see a little bit what it does see that here it, it comes together of course now we have a very rough mesh here that looks but we, when we go then back uh, the, the render settings you can go even to three you get a very nice sharp shape here but you see that looks really nice Yes, and then this is nice. The one goes alone here, and here one alone, and then they melt together again, and something else. This is exactly what we want. Okay, everything works fine. Go back here. So, and now, uh, yeah, I don't do the animation here now, so I can go to file for the editor here. So now, so course needs again to calculate but we have time so okay nice uh, now I want to make five different uh, materials we could make two different materials and uh, but let's make for, for each of them an own it needs a little time but patreon of course get this time uh, what I take is uh, make five materials. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. But here in these materials, uh, let's see. I don't know very well. Maybe I use. Normally I use uh, in the reflectance this diffuse layer for me. This is uh, the, the materials you get with the Nicomedia scenery. Uh, 
and yeah, and to change the color here. But sometimes it renders faster. The, the the result most of the time is better with this way. But it sometimes it renders faster when you do it in the color channel. So if you deactivate the diffuse and go to the color channel. But let's try it. You so will see how it works. Doesn't matter. So we need five different colors. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, this is. Let's, see. let's make a yellow one. Okay. Ah, this is the Nicomedia thing. So we have a custom thing. I don't have to go into material. So let's make a yellow one here. Is this? Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's on the side. Then let's go here to the. Let's make a green one. Then let's make a bluish one. We want a red one, of course. Nothing without a red one. And uh, other color. <laughs> Uh, let's take uh, something violet. Okay. That should work. Good. And now, the thing is this. I need for every of these colors a proximal shader. So this means I go to the alpha channel. I just want to see it, uh, this, this one sphere here. Let's say sphere 1 is uh, the yellow one. And I want to see just this one. Uh, what is uh, where? How can I tell you this? Uh, the, the part of this metaball where this sphere works. So I go to here and go to the uh, effects proximal shader. And in the proximal shader now, I take this sphere. I put in the sphere one. I see. I want you vertical everything. Here I go to smooth, so I want to smooth transition, and I go to lighting, so I have my, this 100% should work. And now I take this one, Let, uh, let's name it, so because now we don't see what it is, uh, what, what color we have uh, because of the alpha channel. So let's say this is the yellow one, okay, and I put it on my meta ball. Even now we should see where the yellow one is. Let's see. Let's see if we see something. Where is my... Where is my interactive render view here? Huh. Oh, maybe it, it needs to calculate, but I... Let's wait a little bit, yeah. For now I go with the meter ball here to, to 10 by 10, so that's okay. With the final render we can go up a little bit. Should work a little faster. But I see nothing because uh, I need some light in the scene and everything. So what I do now, Let's see, maybe if we work here with the color channel, maybe we see it then. Sometimes I forget a little bit, so, so go out here and make it in the color channel a yellow color. Let's see if this works better. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that works better. Okay, so we see it better. Because the, ref uh, the reflecting channel works only when we have something, of course, when we have something to reflect in the scene, and some, uh, and because here is nothing to reflect in the scene, so of course the color, uh, the reflection channel won't work. Uh, but the color channel does not need any uh, reflection. Do you see? Okay, and that looks not so bad. Maybe it goes a little too fast, uh, too too far here. And if we have this problem, we should. Get rid of this with the end distance here. Let's try 50%. Yeah, but now we get this this thing. This uh, black spots are because 
we have in the spheres here only 24 segments. Uh, if we go f first uh, to 50 segments or something else, you, want, you will see that this is better. Uh, let's see if I can do this for the moment. I go to my sphere. So that you see what I do, I go back here, deactivate the metaball, go to my sphere here. I hit NQ to deactivate the uh, textures. And now I take my sphere and go to my polygon mode. This is the other sphere. Uh -huh. I thought the, oh, the, the wrong sphere. This is the uh, cause. And now I can subdivide this. So, when, well, but when you subdivide this sphere, go to this one to this cockwheel here, and say a uh, smooth subdivisions. This is like something like a, a subdivision surface. And one subdivision should be enough here. And I say okay. And now you see we have subdivisions here. And now this with the black spot should be better. If it's not disappeared, we just uh, do another subdivision. So let's see if it looks better now. Now we know, okay, we have to wait a little bit. So let's see what we have to do. do, do, do show us something and yeah, now you see these black spots are away good but uh, for our test i don't need this so, so i bring back this to control set control c control c until yeah okay and i stay here with 100 because when we have more than, uh, when we have all colors, when they come together and, and mix together, it should work. Uh, yeah, but I, for now, I, I make this with the color channel everything, but uh, I think in the, in the final render, I do it with the reflectance channel. So what I mean is, uh, you have this diffuse, this color, copy this, Okay, I know this is green, but I don't have to copy it, but deactivate it and paste the color here. Blue, okay. Copy. Oh, maybe I can drag it, so drag it up to here. To the color channel and drag it into the thing here. But don't forget to deactivate it here. And the next one, diffuse channel, drag it up to here. Bong, chong, gong. <laughs> and the next one, and sick. And we are done. So it's not so much work. Okay. The next thing is I go to my alpha channel here to, for the first one I made already. So I go to the alpha channel and just copy this texture here. So now I go with this the green one and name it green. So green. Go to my alpha channel, paste the texture and put in instead of sphere put in this view one okay next one is the glass the, the blue one name it blue I know it's not really blue but doesn't matter uh, yeah alpha channel paste it in and instead of the sphere we need here two Boing. then Let's go to the red one. Red. Check. Paste. And sphere three. And the last one. This is violet or pink or whatever. I see pink. It's less letters. <laughs> That's really lazy. <laughs> uh, paste. And last sphere. Back. 
Uh, here we forgot something. Maybe I had to activate the alpha channel. So the yellow one we have here already. Huh? Is this the yellow one? Yes, this is the yellow one. So let's select the green until the pink one and drag it on the metaball too. And now, now everything should work. Let's activate the metaball and hit render. And let's see what we get. And we have exactly what we want. That's how you do this multicolored metaball. But uh, now I want to see how this looks with a nice lighting and everything. So I bring in my Nico Media Scenery, of course. This, I need this. I never work without it. So <laughs> turn off the floor. Make it a little smaller. So. And uh, I think the HDRI is okay here. Everything should be fine. But we have a white background now. Or at least we should have a white background now. Let's see if it's true. Yay. But I want a darker background. So let's go to the background color. Background. And go down here. So 10. Great. And now I try this the other one. I go to I double click just the first one and shift click on the last one. Go to my reflectance channel, activate the diffuse and deactivate the color. So that makes it for everyone. And let's see what we get now. Yeah, and this, you see, it looks much better than with, than with the color channel. It needs a little longer to render now, but uh, it works better. At least I think so. The colors are better and everything. But, okay, you see, it works like this, but I go back to the color because so we can make the tutorial a little faster. So... Check, check. Okay. Uh, what's next? Uh, nothing next. Uh, here everything works fine. It's exactly like, uh, like we want it. Is something else to do? Let's go to the reflectance. So we have selected all of them, so I select it again. Go to the custom channel here and go up with the roughness a little bit, maybe so 30. And that's not much. What I want, let's hide the spheres here. Because I have here this years, I don't know why. Oh, that makes no difference. With the reflectance channel activated, so with the reflectance color, we don't have this. Anyway, it looks good. I I want the. the I want the reflectance channel. It doesn't matter. So, check, check. But maybe let's play a little bit. Uh, what when I say I go to my glossy channel and make it conductor like? Don't. Of course, it looks uh, very grainy because we have the lowest settings uh, here. And here we could use... 
Yeah, what I don't need here is an ambient occlusion. This uh, let's let's deactivate the ambient occlusion. That makes it a little faster again. Yep. Uh, maybe let's try now this again with the color. Yeah, the end with occlusion. I know. Now it now it looks nice now with the color and and, and the contactor uh, reflected. That looks nice. I think I let it like this. This looks nice, yeah. I leave it like this <laughs> and now let's try another other position here let's make a camera 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 so, uh, zero 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 back a little bit zero zero and protection tech so and come on protection tech here and in the protection tech I allow just the C direction so I can work in the C direction but not in the other direction okay and let's see if we go to Meta ball for the moment, so we should activate here and let's move the to do to do to do to do something like that. Meta ball, and now we have this the uh, separated spheres, and they should have just their color. And let's see if this is true. Yeah, you see, we have here now these three colors mixed, and here we have uh, their own color. A little color from here, but this we can uh, avoid, as I said, with the proximal shader with with the da -da 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 with the end distance here. And if we have two less end distance, we get these ugly things, these ugly spots. But here you can subdivide your uh, spheres. But let's try 80 here. But this could also be uh, not, not affected from this. This could also be, I think this is not from the, no, no, this is not from the proximality. This is from the reflections. These are the reflections of this. This is not from the proximal. The proximal works great here. I think so. Um, I like it. I really like it. Okay. That's this one. And yeah. Uh, I hope you like this. Uh, this is a very interesting thing. Uh, I never tried it before. It's just uh, so. Uh, yeah, I tried it as I got the question, but uh, I never did it before, and, and I was surprised that it is uh, quite easy. But the only thing what uh, I, I did not find a way to work with this in the octane shader. The, in the octane shader, the proximal shader does not work. Uh, in the octane lander. The proximal shader does not really work, uh, so uh, I have not found a way to make it there because it would be nice in Octane be, uh, because it renders much faster. And it seems that it doesn't work in the Pro Lander too with the proximal shader, uh, shader so uh, uh, yeah, but it works in the physical renderer and it needs a little longer to to render, of course, but uh, it's worth the, the waiting, I think. <laughs> so. Let's go here to the higher settings. You see this small arrow here? This is, uh, as higher you go, as higher the quality will be. If I go up with it, I get, uh, of course, it needs then longer, to, uh, longer to render, of course. Longer to render, <laughs> longer to render. <laughs> but you get a really nice shiny thing. This could be nice if we put uh, some. <laughs> 
let's see if this works first if we put on some some something uh, what do I want make a new layer boop, 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 boop. Yeah, make a new layer I just try something now GTX, okay, why not? And the texture here. I never tried it. We have here some thin film shader. Let's see what this gives us. Uh -huh. Not bad. <laughs> In. Let's go in the thin film shader. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Texture, maybe noise or something else. Let's see if this does something. It gives us a nice. Yeah, I think I like this. But again, I try it with the diffuse and no color. <laughs> okay, the scene film shader here is a little crazy. Uh, what can we do with the scene film shader? Yeah, it's boring. It's just a little playing now. Uh, this now every time the same, but uh, when we go up and see a little thin film. This, yeah, here we could, we, I think we could get nice results here. Uh, but you can play here, so, uh, and I see it again, hopefully you show me your uh, results then. But I'm not entirely sure why we get, oh, uh, now it works like you want it, this is okay, this is okay. Okay. Yeah, I think with this with this uh, result we can we can really be satisfied. Yeah, I'm now a little surprised because now they, they disappeared. This 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 spheres in the middle. Did I did, did it everywhere? Yeah, that's everything the same. That's okay. No diffuse, the color is here. Yeah, it doesn't matter why, but it looks good. <laughs> I, I know why, but <laughs> now I have to think. I make an, an, I make a nice surrender out of this, and I'm back in a second. Uh, of course, I set to my camera, block it, so I something like that, or even another. Uh, and I will render this with a middle quality render. So, uh, but let's try how this. Let's, let's see how this looks with GI. I think we will be, get an even better result with GI then, and that looks great. And GI, yeah. But first, I wanna deactivate here in the 
load. Ah, ambient occlusion is deactivated because the parent uh, render settings are is is deactivated the ambient occlusion, so the child will be acti deactivated too. Is there a difference? Normally, we we don't really need an ambient uh, and then a GI here because it it works with the reflections and. Uh, I just make two different render and then we will see. So I'm back in a second. So okay, I'm back and I stopped this. This is now the GI try. You see it a normal uh, without GI. It needs two minutes forty, and here yeah, we can go to. I'm sure with some uh, render uh, settings, some fine tuning, we can get to to one minute per, per render, and. Uh, yeah, but here we, you see it still renders and now it renders five and a half minutes for this. And you see we don't have really a difference. If you look at this part, we don't have a difference here. So we don't need the GI here. So stop it. Bye bye. But here we have a nice result, I think. So, but uh, if you don't like this metallic look, just go to in the in the textures I have to make an English curse I think <laughs> because I've made so many tutorials and, and now and and uh, my English becomes not better I don't know why yeah I just speak English in my in my tutorials and nowhere else so but okay for now let's go to final and go to uh, dielectric and now I think I make a dialectic render and see the difference. Let's see. So the thing here is, uh, what I made is uh, to tell you, I made here everything uh, to current state uh, because here in the original one, I made it on frame 154 or something as a start to render. And the problem here is if you start to render here, it, it, it calculates the, the positions until the uh, uh, frame 154. So that this needs a long time that to, to calculate to this frame. So I made just the current state to object here. That means I go, uh, go to the text here, to the rigid body text. And under collision, under, under dynamics, I set, set initial state. And then you can go to frame zero and the state will, will stay like this and you can delete then the uh, text like it here like, like here and you have this position and so it, it it calculates just the first frame as a frame zero in this case and not uh, until to frame 150 and then starts to render so let's see what we have here now as I said, we, I'm sure we can. Uh, I'm still on GI, but yeah, but now it renders faster with GI. But I don't want to render with GI. I want to render just with middle. So this was my mistake. One of my many mistakes. But now, after more than two hundred fifty, uh, one hundred fifty tutorials. Uh, you know my, my my way I do my things and you know about my English so I think nothing can surprise you anymore. <laughs> yeah, now I trade this nice. This is with with the not with the dielectric uh, reflections. With the conductor reflections, we had two minutes forty, but it looks. You know, here we have a very fast render. With not not a minute, but uh, I have this. These are I don't know if these are reflections or. Let's see it here. I don't go to middle, I go to low. Whoa, whoa. So if you are not interested in this whole thing now, uh, this is, this is, uh, 
it's soon over, so <laughs> but just wanna see. Let's go to the HDRI settings, Get the preview on, and make it a little bigger. Yes, uh, and NA to uh, NQ to see my my uh, textures. So that, uh, it does not seem that these are reflections. You see that uh, the sphere is inside. But now we have nice reflections here. How can we get rid of these spheres inside? Hmm. <laughs> because we don't have it with the dielectric thing, uh, with, with the conductor reflections. Uh, maybe with the... Uh, let's try to put the meta ball in an... Cloth object. Cloth surface. And this makes, I think, no difference now. But if we make it a little thicker... Maybe that do, does something for us. Yeah, and now we don't see it anymore. Okay, we did, yeah, but it's very, very, very light, but this uh, we can get rid of him. I think if we make it even thicker, then it's okay. But now we have a nice, uh, yeah, this is a nice uh, result. I prefer it, I don't like it more than the, than the uh, conductor reflectance, and it renders quite fast. Okay. We have our result for today, and yeah, it works. You have, you have seen it works with the animation too. And if you have questions, just ask me in the comments, please, or on my Facebook site or my Facebook group, or write me an email and blah 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 blah. You know it. <laughs> and yeah, if you have questions or requests, tutorial requests, you can. Uh, you have the same possibilities to write me. And as you have seen, uh, patrons, of course, uh, have some advantages. So, so, as I said, yesterday the questions, today the tutorial. And, uh, yeah. Uh, is there more to say about this? Not really, yeah. But if, you, if someone knows a way uh, how to do this in Octane, or uh, not, not ProRender, I'm not interested in ProRender. Uh, but in Octane, I would be interested about a way if you know one. If I find a way, I will show it, of course. And uh, that's it for today. And yeah, maybe if next tutorial will come this week or uh, weekend. But I think this week we have Monday, so I have time a little bit. And yeah, and the usual things, if you want to donate, you find a don uh, donation link in the descriptions, of course. And if you want to uh, support me on Patreon, the link is in the description. And yeah, if you want to buy the Nicomedia Scenery, we have now the Pro version with 10 euro and the Ultimate version with uh, for 15 euros and the Octan uh, Octan Rick. There will be uh, come sh uh, sure soon uh, update. Uh, I don't know if uh, what we have today. Have we have the eighth of January? Maybe I can do the update this month. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. It, is, it depends on the job I, I got promised, but that's another story. And yeah. Yeah, and it, uh, on my side you see the difference uh, between the, the Pro and the Ultimate version. In the Ultimate version, when you go to the link of the Ultimate version, you, you I wrote there what was the difference. And yeah, okay, so have a nice day. And now the last words, tschüss und baba.